Dealing with human remains is perhaps the most professionally and personally challenging of all areas of police work. The stresses that surround working with a human being's final traces can be considerable. There is also usually only one chance to document and collect material in a way that maximizes its use to an investigation. The task can be daunting. But by following the right procedures and by recognizing when to call in specialists to assist, it can also be one of the most rewarding. My name is Dr. Scott Fairgreave. I'm a forensic anthropologist. As a forensic anthropologist, I've worked with police agencies since 1990, helping to document and recover bodies from scenes and also do some analysis. Along with my colleagues, Professor Tracy Yost and Dr. Jared Corton, we're going to guide you through various aspects of how to handle scenes such as these and to maximize the potential of the evidence. We'll look at how to recognize and distinguish human remains. We'll examine methods for identifying burials and techniques for carrying out a grid search. We'll explain how to establish the limits of a scene once remains are found and guide you through a step-by-step -step procedure for processing the scene. We'll show you when and how specialists in the fields of forensic botany, entomology, and anthropology can help. And finally, we'll look at some of the special situations that inevitably occur. But first, we need to understand how we get to this, a human bone in a forensic investigation, from what was once a living individual.